Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm back with another skincare update and aloe vera challenge. Now, if you guys saw my very first aloe vera video, I did an aloe vera challenge where I challenged myself to rub real raw aloe vera on my face for one week straight every morning and every night and then I wanted to see how amazing my skin was gonna look because there's so many YouTube videos that like are claiming miracles after one week I mean I tried it you guys saw my results if you haven't seen that video you should watch it it got over like 2 million views so thank you for watching that video but I didn't see like an extremely dramatic change but a lot of you guys said you did now after that video, I ended up going to an esthetician who really got my skin under control. I've been going to an esthetician named Mary Scott, and she has miraculously cleared my skin so much. If you haven't seen my other acne videos, you gotta check those out. It was severe, seriously just covered in red zits, and now my skin is so smooth and just a million times better. So one of the tips that I got from Mary Scott was to use ice on my face. So then I started the ice challenge where I then took an ice cube and rubbed it on my face every morning and night after you cleanse, but before you apply your skincare products. And that will help your products penetrate deeper into your skin and help with inflammation, redness, fine lines, and wrinkles. So then I thought, what if I combined the aloe vera with the ice and created frozen aloe vera cubes. Mind blow. So I decided to do this and I went to YouTube and I realized I'm not the first person to think of this thing. And many people were doing it in many different ways. Some people grabbed the aloe vera, they took out all the actual aloe vera goodness, put it in a blender, then put it in an ice tray, some added water, and then they made literally aloe vera ice cubes. Then I saw another way where you just cut up the aloe vera and throw it in the freezer. And as the lazy person that I am, that's the one I decided to do. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I cut up this aloe vera plant, kept it in the freezer, created frozen little aloe vera ice cubes, and applied it to my face every day. So the first thing I did, I went to Whole Foods and I got this large aloe vera leaf. I've only been able to find them at Whole Foods and Food for Less, but feel free to buy them wherever you find them and leave a comment down below if you have other store recommendations besides your own backyard. Then the first thing I did when I got home was rinse it off in the sink and then I wanna cut off this ugly little like white part right here. We don't need that part, we need just all the good aloe vera. So cut that off if you're old enough to do so safely. And we're also gonna cut off all these little spiky spikes on the sides as well. And look at all that aloe vera goodness just waiting for us inside. Now we're gonna cut them into even smaller pieces, about maybe like an inch in width, all along the entire leaf. Look at that aloe vera. So beautiful. Now we're gonna cut off the sides, just one of them, and then cut that in half. And then as you'll see, this will be our little aloe vera ice cube, just ready to be frozen. Then I continue to do this for the rest of the pieces. Then I grabbed a tray with foil and I dumped all the aloe vera cubes right on there. And then I separated them so they aren't touching so they don't freeze together. After that was complete, I then put them all in the freezer. I ended up buying a second aloe vera leaf so I just did it again to make some more cubes and this time I put them on a plate. And I also decided to cover it in saran wrap. Then I added batch number two to the freezer. I left my cubes in the freezer overnight and voila, look at our little aloe vera ice cubes. They're so cute and I could not wait to use them. I noticed that when I used the saran wrap, it kind of created like all this little frostbite on top and they were stuck to the plate. So I think I preferred putting them on the foil because they didn't stick to the plate. Then I kept all of my cubes in a Ziploc bag so I have easy access to them every morning and every night. And here is the close up of the frozen cube once again that I'll be rubbing on my face every day. 
So here is my skin on day one. Not too bad, the side looks pretty clear. Forehead's not too bad. I do have some darker scars on my lower neck. And I will have to say that the aloe vera doesn't have the best smell. It kind of smells like body odor, to be completely honest. <laughs> but after you rub it on and it dries, you don't smell it anymore. But this is gonna be good for healing your scars, acne, inflammation, and also makes your skin very smooth and moisturized. So every day I'd try to wear the aloe vera for as long as possible. So I'd probably either apply it before or after the gym. Then if I wasn't going anywhere, I kept it on all day long. Then I'd rinse it off and then do it again at nighttime and I let it sit on my skin even overnight while I slept. Between regular aloe vera and frozen aloe vera, I definitely prefer using the frozen cubes instead. It's a lot less messy and you're getting that nice cold sensation which is gonna help the skin plus the added benefits of the aloe vera. Now by day four, I was getting really irritated with this one zit, so I wanted to try going back to just the pure ice on its own. So I rubbed a huge ice cube across my face for at least about 30 seconds, and then I added the frozen aloe vera as well. So I kinda wanted to see what this little double combo was gonna do. I don't know if it really made a difference, but it might have helped penetrate the aloe vera a little bit more. Now at this point it is day five and I have done a mixture of wearing it all day, wearing it all night, wearing it for 30 minutes, rinsing it off. I've tried a bunch of different things, but I noticed I was getting a little bit of a breakout here on my cheek and these were just getting out of control. And confession, I end up popping them, which is why I have these scars now as punishment. Don't tell Mary Scott. Now I started to get frustrated because of this little breakout I was having. And I told myself I was not going to risk getting all of my acne back out of everything I've done to make it this clear just for the sake of YouTube. I'm sorry. So I stopped using the aloe vera for two days and I went back to my products that Mary Scott has recommended for me, which is a sulfur product and a mandelic acid. I'm supposed to switch off between the two each night. So one night I used my sulfur, the next night I used my mandelic acid. And then after I kind of got this more treated with some real medication, then I went back to my aloe vera for day six. and today is day seven. I did use the aloe vera this morning. I left it on for probably at least an hour. But here is the honest truth about my personal experience with using aloe vera. So overall, I do think my skin looks very healthy, very glowy, my acne has been under control, it feels very moisturized, but I don't think that aloe vera does enough for my skin to prevent acne. I have very acne prone skin. So I've learned that if I just use the aloe vera and nothing else, which is what I try to do to make a real experiment for you guys, that's not gonna be enough to stop my acne from coming. So although it may help with the healing process of my acne or my scars, it's not strong enough to prevent it for me personally. So what I'm gonna continue to do with the remainder of my aloe vera ice cubes is I'm gonna still use my products that Mary Scott has given me to use at night, but I'm probably gonna continue to use the aloe vera ice cubes at least in the morning. I'll probably wake up, wash my face, apply the aloe vera, wear it all throughout my workout in the morning, come home, shower, and then go on with my day. But what about you? Have you ever used aloe vera on your skin before? How well were your results? Have you tried my aloe vera challenge? Have you tried my ice challenge? Are you thinking about combining the two? Come back and let me know how well this little aloe vera ice challenge works for you and your skin. If you enjoy my skincare videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, foundation, makeup, skincare, fashion, all on Friday. And then I post curly hair videos on Sunday. So if you enjoy my video, I mean, you made it this far, you might as well push that subscribe button. I'm so close to hitting 300,000 subscribers and all I need is you, yes you who has not pushed the button yet, to push the button. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on my Instagram stories as I continue to use these aloe vera ice cubes. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.